All right, everybody, welcome. So tonight uh, I am working on weathering this Lionel Sound boxcar. Um, this is obviously the Union Pacific uh, model. Um, I've already started, um, and I actually did the other side earlier to kind of test it out. Um, so what this will look like when it's done, something like this. So this is um, complete for the most part on this side. Um, I've used some airbrushing and then some chalks as well, and then applied a dull coat over that. Um, so we're going to pretty much do the same thing on the other side to even this car up. Um, typically I would do the whole car at one time, but, um, it's kind of just testing the waters here. This is the second car, um, that I am fully weathering myself. Um, so it's, it's probably not going to be perfect, but, um, typically rust and dirt doesn't look perfect anyway. So, um, what I've started to do on this other side is basically just take a very small, narrow paintbrush like this. And I've dipped it in some diluted white paint and then just streaked the letters down. And then the same thing with some yellow paint over here for um, this decal. What we're going to do next is begin to apply um, a light coat uh, with the airbrush of just some diluted white uh, paint. Uh, and that's just gonna kind of give it like a, a hazy dusty look and then we'll apply some more colors after that. All right, so we are all ready to get started here. You might hear my compressor in the background running, so I'm just gonna do a couple of tests up here just before we get started. So I know where I want to hit, and then we're just gonna start kind of spraying across the car. It doesn't take much. You'll already see that kind of shine start to go away. I like to hit the bottom a little bit more. All right. That's pretty much it for the white. Um, like I said, not too much. You don't want to overdo it. Um, just to take away some of that shine and make it look almost dusty. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to switch out the white with some uh, black uh, paint and just kind of start to grime it up a little bit. All right, so to mix up the paint, I just use these glass bottles here. Um, what I'm going to do is take the black which is really just a grease black. We're gonna put about five drops in. And then we're gonna add some thinner as well to that. And then just going to use the opposite side of a paintbrush, give it a quick stir, and we'll see how that consistency acts within the airbrush with some, some test sprays, and if I like it, then we'll start applying it to the car. Right. So again, I'm going to start applying just mostly to the bottom, but hitting most of the car. I've already done the top. So it's a little loose, a little diluted, kind of see it at the bottom. Uh, might be hard to see on the camera. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop where I'm at right now with the black and I'm gonna switch to now um, a brown color. That's gonna add more of a dirt la layer as well. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and add a little bit of black here, here at the top. There, just take some of that shine out down. All right. 
All right, all right let's hit, some, hit it with some brown. Like I said, not too much. Uh, try to keep it uh, as light as possible um, so it seems subtle, but it really does darken that up. Um, so what we're gonna do is give it a couple minutes here, let all of that dry, and then we're gonna come back over with some um, other acrylic paints to simulate some rust, and then we'll hit it with some powders um, uh, at the end before we dull coat it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is come back over with some acrylic paints that I've mixed up here with some thinner um, and apply it down in around the truck area and then in some random places along the metal frame or side of the, uh, the box car. Um, and then we're gonna come back over with some accent colors as well afterwards. So I'm gonna just get my brush wet here and then I'm actually just going to kinda, if you can see here, get some of that paint off. Not so much that I'm dry brushing, but just to, I don't want it to be globbed on there. I'm going to start down here on the trucks and just add a little bit of rust spots. Just some light colors. So not much, not going overboard, just... Um, pretty subtle and then we'll work our way up here to the bottom of this ladder add some here so I'm just gonna kind of dab it on and then we're just gonna streak it down like that so if we find a spot that we want to add um, a rust spot to the center of the car, let's say, right where this, there's a little bit of a black splatter mark here. So I'm gonna cover that up with some rust. So what we're gonna do is make just a mark just like that, not too big. And then we'll start streaking that down. Just gonna pull that rust down, just like rust would stain as it would, you know, water would come down over it. So we're just gonna pull that down like that. And then we're gonna hit some spots around the door here at the bottom. All right, so pretty much we're just gonna continue to do that all over the car. Um, I do like to hit the top a lot more. So we're gonna, I'm gonna come back over and hit most of these um, kind of joints here with this rust and then along the top where the, the top and the side meet and then you'll see that rust streaking down a little bit as well. All right, now after I've got the rust spots on there from that like orange uh, color, uh, or I believe that was actually the traditional burnt sienna. Now I'm gonna come over with the traditional burnt umber acrylic paint, just gonna dilute it a little bit. And then we're gonna come back over those rust spots to show where the corrosion really is. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll just kind of use this piece of cardboard here, get the brush wet, knock some of that off. And if we zoom in and we look at this spot here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go inside that orange rust with a little bit of that brown where the actual corrosion is starting to happen. 
and just accent that, those marks just a little bit. So a couple dots and some streaking and that's it. When we pull away, you know, it doesn't, it's, it, it's subtle again, um, but it just kind of makes those, those spots pop a little bit more. All right, so while those acrylics dry, I'm going to use this painting pen. I'm sure most of you have seen if you've watched any weathering videos. And I'm just gonna hit the wheels. Um, just gonna kinda, with this, just gonna tap the, the sides of the wheels, kinda hold it, the pen on the inside there, just turn that wheel, just to add some of that rust color. And I'm actually using the rusty rail color. Just gonna add some grime into those. All right. All right, so the acrylics are dry, so we're ready to start adding some of these powders. And we're gonna start along the, the roof line here and kind of just pull it down. And then once we get to the edge, we'll begin to pull it down the sides. Typically when I do this, I try to put a newspaper underneath to catch some of the loose powder. If we look at that, pretty much evens it up with the other side. Uh, now this box car has a lot of dirt and grime on the roof. You know, you don't see that. A lot of people will add a lot of rust to the, the roof of their cars. I just didn't for this one, mostly because it's already red um, in color. Um, yeah, it's kind of went with the black. So, you know, whatever works for you. So now we're gonna do the side. We're gonna start up here at the top and then we're just gonna pull down. We're really going to focus just on those ribs because you know a lot of the dirt is going to collect on those non flat surfaces. We'll hit the door. So you're gonna get a lot that's gonna collect in these areas and that's okay. Grime's gonna naturally collect there. All right, so that's pretty good for the black. Now we're gonna come back over with some of the brown chalk. Now 
Now for the brown, I like to just hit these bottom portions of the car. Try to get, it's not so shiny for you there. So I'm just gonna hit the brush in, knock some of that off, and then I'm just gonna kinda come across the bottom. Really, you're looking for just a worn look. You know, this car's been on the road, on the rails rather. It's gonna have dirt, dust kicked up. Hit the trucks a little bit, and that'll just about do it. All right. So that pretty much wraps this up. Uh, now what we are going to do is hit it with some uh, of a matte finish or dull coat with the airbrush, just really lightly, maybe one or two quick coats. Um, and then this car is done. So. Here is the side that we just did, and then I can carefully turn this around. The side that I did earlier, so it's not bad. Pretty close match. Um, like I said, I usually would do them one after the other. Now, what I've done here, um, I haven't tried stenciling yet on cars, um, but you know, if you see a car that's been used and abused, um, they'll redo the number um, on the side of the car. Basically all I did was take some painter's tape, cut it and put it over top of that when I did my weathering on this side and then I just peeled it off. So it looked as though they kind of came back over, repainted those numbers on there just for um, some contrast and something different. So um, like I said, this is my method of, of doing some car weathering. There's a ton of other options out there, um, but uh, feel free to, to leave some comments or questions. I will try to post some more videos with some other cars um, in the future, uh, but I'm gonna hit it with some some dull coat and then we'll get it on the way out.